Seven-year-old Scott Hughes and her identical twin sister, Virginia, were always close. When Virginia started having trouble with her memory and thinking, Scott knew something wasn't right. Virginia was later diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. It was heartbreaking because she was so outgoing and loving. She wasn't going to be who she had been before. And that is... Uh, it's tragic to see in a person you love. With one twin having Alzheimer's and the other healthy, researchers at Duke Eye Center studying the link between eye and brain health thought the sisters were a good case to examine. They took images of their eyes and discovered the twin with Alzheimer's disease had significantly decreased blood vessel density in the retina. That finding spurred a new study of more than 200 people. Cognitively healthy, normal individuals do not have these changes in the, in the retina. Lead researcher Dr. Sharon Fekrat says the eyes may be a window to our brain health. These changes happening in the retina of the eye may actually mirror the blood vessel changes happening in the brain of individuals with Alzheimer's disease. Scott's sister Virginia passed away 14 months ago. Every night after dinner, we had our conversation. Sometimes it, she would be able to respond and sometimes she wouldn't, but she always knew that sister was calling. Now, as a result of this test, researchers can look for when the eye changes start and whether they might be an early warning sign of Alzheimer's. Then drugs could be tested much earlier in the disease course when medications might have a better chance of slowing or stopping the brain deterioration. So this is a first step that will allow perhaps that early diagnosis to move treatment a little bit earlier when you can make a difference. By the time you're diagnosed with full-blown Alzheimer's, wow. all of the drugs have really pretty much failed at this point. But a key here, you say stopping the disease? That, well, is, that, that's, is that likely at this yeah. point? Well, if you can start early enough in the disease process, you might be able to intervene. That's a might.